Okay, now that we've got our mask cut, the next step is to weed out uh, our mask uh, before laying down the transfer tape. So we end up with a product something like this. So here I'm going to uh, weed out the uh, scallop section that we'll be doing on the body. Just peel it back uh, slowly, making sure that it doesn't lift up uh, any edges that I don't want it to. Once we get this all uh, weeded, then we'll be able to put the uh, transfer tape on. It'll uh, help hold the graphic together uh, until we get it placed onto the body itself. Once placed onto the body, then the uh, transfer tape itself will then be removed and uh, we'll be left with just the, uh, just the mask itself on the body uh, ready for paint. So, just about finished here. One more to go. All right, now those scallops and uh, tribal flames are ready to be uh, to be covered with the uh, with the transfer tape. Okay, so here we are with our transfer tape. Um, I used a clear uh, low tack. Uh, style transfer tape. Some tra transfer tapes look just like uh, masking tape. Uh, I prefer this on the bodies as it doesn't stick to the Lexan quite as much, which enables me to get my uh, my uh, design in place a lot easier. So here we'll just uh, lay it across the, uh, the graphic here. A little bit more. Get it lined up, lay it down real nice, and then I use a uh, special squeegee that... Uh okay, now that we've got all of our uh, window masks cut out, we'll go ahead and start laying them down inside the body here. So, here we'll peel the, uh, the backing material off. Now this still has the uh, transfer tape on it, and we'll go ahead and lay this mask in over the window. Making sure that we, uh, once again, rub it down real good or burnish it with your uh, fingernail so that it doesn't lift. And then we will remove our transfer material off the vinyl here. Peeling that off and then re going over the vinyl just to make sure that we've uh, got it seated well. Go ahead and do the other window. Once again, peeling back the, uh, the transfer material, a full clear transfer material there. <coughs> Going back around the vinyl just to make sure it's all stuck down well. And now we've got a couple of the windows on. And a few more minutes we'll have uh, all the rest on here. Okay, now you can see we have our, uh, our window mask and also our uh, headlights and grill on there. Now we're ready to uh, ready to mask the rest of the body. Uh, once again, masking is kind of the most important part of painting. It really doesn't matter what uh, what airbrush you have, what um, what paints you're using. If your masking skills are not there, if you don't get the mask laid down well enough, uh, the best paint and airbrush in the world and skill. Uh, won't give you a good paint job. So making sure that all your edges are down well, uh, that there's no gaps for paint to uh, bleed through is very, very, very important. So take your time on masking and it'll come out good. Okay, now that we got all the uh, main areas of the body uh, masked off, we're going to be ready to paint here. So you can see I masked off the, uh, the rear bed that we will paint later. Uh, all the flame areas. So now we're going to paint the uh, the main body color actually. So here we go. One of my favorite purchases has been this uh, 
Ripple Paint Shader by Robart. Uh, it costs approximately $20 and it's fantastic for uh, shaking up the bottles of paint before you're ready to use them. So I have uh, three airbrushes that I use for, for different things here. You'll see them right here. Uh, this is a uh, Iowata HPCS that I use for 99% uh, for of my painting. Uh, fine detail up to the large areas. I have a uh, Pache uh, VL dual action. I use that primarily for my lacquer paints uh, such as the Alclad uh, 2 paint which is the chrome. And then I have a Badger I believe it's a Badger 250 here and I use that for shooting the fast coat. Um, just a real cheap airbrush about $12 perfect for that kind of stuff.